Hey howdy hey partners, today I'm going to show you how to remove a helmet from a Disney store Buzz Lightyear. Let's get into it. Reach for the sky. You're watching Today I Grew Up. To infinity and beyond. We're back again for another mod video. I did remove a helmet from a collection buzz. If you want to see how to do that, click the card here in the corner of your screen. That'll take you to the video tutorial of how to remove a helmet from a regular collection Buzz Lightyear. I had this requested on my channel many times. Today I grew up, how do you remove a helmet from a Disney Store Buzz Lightyear? Well, it is actually a little bit different because Disney Store Buzz is built differently. Step one, back here, there's just one screw we need to worry about in the jetpack to release it from his body. We need to unscrew this. Usually this is where you would go to get to the battery compartment for Buzz. And you don't have to take it all the way out. And this just kind of snaps in, so you just pull that out. Um, this does take three AAA batteries. I don't have any batteries in it right now. Now the next ones you have to worry about to open the compartment to release the helmet area is one screw hole there, here, and here, and here. All four of these screws need to come out to separate the body enough to open this uh, compartment. So this is a problem that a lot of people have. Not everybody has uh, screw caps that come out. So this one didn't come out, so I had to drill a hole in it in order to access the screws. Otherwise, I could not take the screws out because they were glued in. Now, you could always get this out and replace it with other screw caps, or you're just going to have to realize they're glued in, and this is the only other way I know of to get in there. Because the older Disney Store Buzzes didn't have this issue, but I realized after 2018, 2019, they started actually gluing them in. So, I don't know. That's just something I realized. The four screws have been removed and you want to be very careful when separating buzz. Feel free to use your screwdriver to kind of uh, pull the gaps apart a little bit more. Just like that you can see you kind of just separate it a little bit more. Just be very careful as much as you can like this and pulling apart the chest. There we go. The arm fell out but don't worry we can put that back in just like this. There we go. And that came out. So what you're left with is all his wires. And this is how a Disney Store Buzz works. You have the buttons, two that generate the same voice phrase and another unique one there. And this is the wings button. And his karate chop action, we're not gonna get into that. It's very complicated. But for now, I'm gonna put his arm joint back in here. Close it that way. There we go. So you don't wanna mess up anything here with the wires. So you're gonna put Buzz aside. Now we're left with the head compartment. So you can see this whole mechanism with the whoosh thing is with a spring. Once this spring comes out, it is so hard to get back in. I've done that before. So in order to release this area, we're gonna have to unscrew this. I'm gonna start with just unscrewing this part and this part and these two screws right here. That's the, the way Buzz's helmet was stuck in there. Well, now that the screws are out, we're just gonna take this off. You can see the little springs fell off. Uh, you can always reattach that. That doesn't really matter because we're taking the helmet off. But for now, we're gonna remove this part. This is what holds the spring. And they actually have a spring on both sides. What you wanna do is push it in with your thumb. And there you go. We got it off and so that front piece is completely off and if you ever want to do a head mod while you're here all you have to do is unscrew this and that'll change out the head i've already done that in other videos so basically it's a little complicated but <laughs> once you get that out you just have the back part try your best because it's it's not so easy to do but you just kind of have to pull a little bit hard on this one no other way around it i just pulled on it came right out and uh yeah now you have no helmet on Buzz, and I'm gonna show you how to put it back on the body. And before you actually put the screws in there, make sure you get your little uh, purple buttons back in, because it's gonna look weird if you don't have these accent details on the side, because even though he doesn't have a helmet, he should still have these things. There we go. Just turn it until it's in the position it's supposed to be. This side's a little more tricky because you don't need the spring anymore because you don't spring load anything for Buzz for the whoosh feature because it's an open helmet. So we're gonna just put that back there like this. You gotta be lined up here with that little trigger button area. I got it worked in there. The trigger button's still there, although it doesn't function. I mean, I guess you could put the spring back in if you want, but I don't think it's necessary at all, as long as it's in there. 
there you have it that's what it looks like with the screws back in here is buzz looking good ready to go back on his body we didn't mess with the head compartment so that's going to be the same we did screw these four back on but these are now locked into place the trigger button doesn't work but that's fine and then here this purple piece is not going anywhere but this is what you're left with without the helmet and now we're ready to put it back on the body. Well, the way we're gonna do this is simply the same way we took it off, basically. We're just gonna line up everything. Just be very careful because a lot of things can go wrong if you're not gentle with uh, the wires and things like that. You just wanna separate Buzz enough where you can... It's a common thing for Buzz to lose his arm in the movie too. <laughs> so I'm gonna make sure, yep, that that's gonna be in there. Basically what I did to Buzz was I gave him a good squeeze uh very squished him basically and i was able to close it right so you can see the head compartment's not moving it looks exactly like we had it before we took off the helmet now i'm going to put the screws back together here's buzz without his helmet and now you have an open helmet mod on disney store buzz is it hard yeah it's actually very hard to do it's actually a lot harder to do than the collection or signature collection buzz i think that's a lot easier to do this mod on this one for disney store design they have a lot of things going against you the screw cap covers don't always come off so those that could be a challenge um, under the head compartment you have the trigger button with the spring action the springs uh, have to be removed and so that's pretty tricky too so if you do want to put the helmet back on you can do that but you're gonna have trouble with the springs. It's not impossible to do, but I definitely think that if you wanna do this mod, you might not consider wanting to put the helmet back on after doing the trouble of taking it off because it is a challenge. Of course, you can do what you want uh, at home, but I personally think that if you wanna do this mod, take off the helmet, just commit to leaving the helmet off. It looks really great, and maybe you can have two of them. You can have one without a helmet, one with the helmet in your collection. And here we have Disney Store Buzz and Collection Buzz without their helmets, and they look really cool without a helmet. It's a cool mod to do because it gives the illusion that Buzz has fully retracted his helmet, something that we haven't gotten from a toy company yet, but it's cool to have as a mod if you wanna do this to your collection. Just keep in mind, it's a way different process to remove the helmet on this one versus the Disney Store. But they look really great, so whether you have the Collection Buzz or you have the Disney Store Buzz like me, or maybe you have both of them like me, I would consider having at least one of each of these buzzes so that you can do a helmet mod, or you can do a removable helmet like I taught you in the last video for this buzz too. I'm sure it's possible with the leftover helmet, but for now I'm just gonna leave it like this because that's what I wanted to show you, partners, how to remove a helmet from a Disney Store Buzz Lightyear. As always, partners, thank you so much for watching, liking, and commenting on these videos. It really helps support what I do here on YouTube. If you'd like to continue to support me on this journey, all you have to do is hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell so you're later for future videos on this channel, and I'll see you, partners, on the next video review. You are the real Buzz Lightyear. You're a, now you're an action figure. You are a sad, 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 strange little man. You are a sad, 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 strange little man. That might be are a child's play thing! Hey, Ham! Look! I'm Picasso! I don't get it.